Part 1 You will hear a conversation between a dental receptionist and a patient. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to, th to 6. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 3. Hello, Mr. Budley. Is that your treatment finished for today? Yes, I've just had the x-ray for now. The dentist asked me to make another appointment to have one out and then to get my teeth cleaned. OK, let's have a look at what's available. I've got a couple of free slots next week on the 16th. That's the Wednesday. Monday and Tuesday are completely full, I'm afraid. Isn't there anything sooner than that? I'm in a lot of pain. Nothing this week? I'm afraid not. We're very busy this week. One of the dentists is away on holiday, so we're a little short-staffed. If someone cancels, I'll give you a call. But for the time being, shall I book you in for the 16th? We have a free slot at 1.30 and another one at 3.30. <sighs> OK. Can you book me in at 3.30? Let me uh, make a note of that. Um, oh, hang on. I can't make 3.30. I've got a meeting at 4 and I'll never get back in time. <sighs> It'll have to be 1.30. Thanks. Right, that's booked for you. Now, the extraction will be £90. And the x-ray is £20, so that's £110 altogether. How would you like to pay? Cash or cheque? I'm afraid we don't take cards. I'll pay by cheque, thanks. If it's OK, I'll pay for the x-ray now and the rest at my next appointment, just in case I have to cancel for any reason. That'll be fine. Just to let you know, we need at least 24 hours' notice if you have to cancel, otherwise there's a £10 fee. So, the cheque, who shall I make it payable to? Sinclair Dental Surgeons. That's S-I-N-C-L-A-I-R. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 7 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 7 to 10. While I'm here, I was wondering whether you had any information about dental insurance. I think my teeth are beginning to show signs of age, and I might need a lot more treatment. Uh, there's a company we work with. Here's one of their leaflets. Their prices are very competitive, and the cover they offer is similar to that of most other companies. They pay up to £650 a year for dental treatment and you can add your wife and children to the plan whenever you want with their family cover plan. This gives you a generous discount compared to individual plans. Mm, thanks. It looks interesting. And they offer interest-free monthly payments too. Uh, there's a telephone number you can call for more information. Thanks. I'll take it home and have a closer read. Will I be able to claim for the treatment I'm having now? Any treatment you have after your membership starts will be covered. So if you're quick, you might get the cost of work next week covered. Thanks again. Well, I'll see you next week then. That is the end of part one.
You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part two. Part two. You'll hear a webcast on the Freeman Travel Services website. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 16. Now listen to the first part of the webcast and answer questions 11 to 16. Welcome to the Fremen Travel Services website. We appreciate your visit. Please listen to this introductory webcast for general information. You can click another link at any time. For webcasts in other languages like Spanish or German, please click on the links above the media player. From this website, you can access audio information on our latest travel offers. If you have already made a reservation with us previously and would like to check on its status, please click on the reservations link in the upper right hand corner of the page. We also have information regarding our new line of extreme tour packages. Thank you for choosing Freeman Travel Services as your guide. This webcast will explain our recently developed line of extreme tour packages. These special vacations were made for those with adventure in mind. We have already gotten awards from a highly regarded travel agency association for these tours. Here at Freeman, we want to help you create memories that last a lifetime. These are not your everyday ordinary tour packages. On these excursions, you will have the chance to challenge yourself and grow as a person. How many other travel agencies can claim to help you do that? We currently offer extreme tours on three different continents. In South America, we have programs in Brazil, Peru, and Argentina. In Southeast Asia, you can go to Thailand or Vietnam. Finally, we just recently started selling spaces for tours in Australia. We also plan to offer more locations around the world in the coming year. Please check this website for future updates. There are highly trained people guiding you on every one of our tours. For those independent travelers, don't worry, there are plenty of opportunities available to explore on your own. Whenever you purchase one of our tour packages, we do our best to accommodate you. Round-trip airfare to your destination is included, along with any accommodation and transportation needed in that country. We don't include food or any sort of entertainment in the price. We know that our customers often want to discover these things by themselves. Before you hear the rest of the webcast, you have some time to look at questions 17 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 17 to 20. Following is a brief summary of some of the tours that we offer. Peru is home to an ancient civilization. The Andes Mountains provide stunning views to enjoy when you go hiking and camping on our five-day tour package. There will also be an opportunity to see ancient ruins and also to go whitewater rafting. The people in Peru are very friendly, and you will not forget their generosity and warm hearts. Another extreme tour package we have is in Thailand. They have a very unique culture there, and even our seven-day vacation there might not be enough to see everything. The tour includes an overnight stay on a riverboat, parasailing, 
and a visit to one of Thailand's biggest cities, Chiang Mai. We also have an excursion to an elephant ranch that you do not want to miss. Finally, we have something really special for you in our newest vacation package in Australia. We have over two weeks of activities, that is 14 days, which take you from the Gold Coast to the Outback and to some of the continent's most exciting places. Go on this tour if you want to scuba dive with thousands of tropical fish at the Great Barrier Reef. See the awesome beauty of Australia's deserts and party in some of the best clubs and bars in the country. Thank you for considering Freeman Tours. I invite you to look at the comment board on this website. There you can read the testimonials of all the people who have gone on our tours. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turns to part three. Part three. You will hear a conversation between a university tutor and a student about a jobs fair. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 23. Now listen and answer questions 21 to 23. OK, Fergus, so we've looked at your assignment, which was OK. Now, before you go, you know about the jobs fair that's coming up, don't you? Yes, it's the week after next, isn't it? The whole week, is that right? That's right. Monday through to Friday. I'd suggest making sure you get along there on Tuesday and Wednesday. Engineering companies tend to be more prominent then, rather than on Monday or the end of the week. Um, yes, I've got the programme for this year, and it looks like those days will be best for me. I'm only in my first year, so I'm not expecting too much from the day. But I've heard you can pick up some valuable ideas for career paths. Well, you've still got a few years here, I know, but it's never too soon to make a good impression on potential employers. You've got the programme, so do some research. Have a look at company websites so you've got the basis for a good conversation with the people on the stands. Before you hear more of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 24 Yes, I was looking at one the other day. The boss was being interviewed about their staff development programme and there are one or two other firms I'm also interested in. Mm, that's good. You've made a start already. Remember to think about what you're going to ask people before you turn up. Not how much you're likely to earn, of course. You only discuss salaries at job interviews. No, questions about the skills you need for the job the kind of personal qualities employers are looking for, that kind of thing. Yes, I see what you mean. It's best to go prepared and make the most of the opportunities. Mm. And I'm sure you don't need telling that it's a good idea to dress correctly for the event. You need to give off a professional air. Well, I won't be buying anything special for the occasion, that's for sure. 
I've got a suit and tie at my parents, but I don't have time to collect it. I'll make an effort, though. A nice pair of trousers and a jacket. Nothing too formal. I'm sure you'll look the part.、Uh, by the way, you'll often find companies have more than one representative. Maybe someone from marketing handing out free gifts. Someone who'll explain the interview process. An ex-student who now works for them. That kind of thing. Try and direct your questions towards the best person. Yes, that's a good idea. I'd certainly be keen to talk to any ex-students that are around. I'm sure you'll find the whole thing really useful. It's important to go to these events, and we always get great feedback from students who've attended. As long as you go with the right expectations, it's unlikely you'll come away with the promise of a job. Of course, it's more about discovering what companies are looking for in potential employees. Yes. Plus, they're a great opportunity to practice things like networking, meeting new people, talking about yourself and what you do. Do you know what I mean? Definitely, yes. There will be several high-profile companies in the engineering sector, and you'll have the chance to get to know some useful people. If they give you their card or contact information, make sure you keep it safe. It's a sign they like you and want to keep in touch. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part four. Part four. You will hear a presentation given by someone training as a teacher. First, you have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen carefully and answer questions thirty-one to forty. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? We are going to have a presentation done by Yuri today. She is going to tell us about an art project she did while at her last teacher training session. Yuri, thank you so much. Yes, I was at Arlington Elementary for the months of November and December. I taught several periods of fifth grade classes during my time there. Since it was the holiday season, I chose to do some craft projects with the kids. They are not hard. Cleaning up after the projects is easy, and the materials can be found anywhere. To do this, you first have to give reasons to the kids about why they are making holiday decorations. You can tell them that during this time of year, there are several traditions that different groups of people celebrate. The one I am going over is general in nature and can be used in any of them. In one project, we started with paper bags. With a pencil, we then drew the outline of our holiday decoration. The outline has to be entirely within the borders of the paper bag, and also must generally be circular in shape. Once the outline was drawn, we carefully used craft scissors to cut the bag along the pencil outline. Since this was done on the paper bag, everyone should have ended up with two pieces of paper that are the same exact shape. But are mirror images of each other. For the next part, we used thick cardboard, poster board, or styrofoam can also be used. We took one of our paper bag shapes and traced the outline onto the cardboard. 
Using the craft scissors again, we made a piece of cardboard similar in shape to our paper bag cutouts. After that step, we proceeded to the rest of the project. To finish up the project, we have to affix the paper bag cutouts to the cardboard. Any sort of adhesive can be used, but I prefer to give my kids glue sticks. Liquid glue can be quite messy, and with glue sticks, it is easier to control the amount of adhesive used. After attaching the two cutouts to both sides of the cardboard, we waited a little bit to let the glue dry. In that time, I prepared the various materials necessary for personalizing their decorations. These included color markers, gold and silver glitter, different colors of yarn, felt pieces, ribbon, and buttons. I told my students that their decoration could not use more than three different materials. One reason for this was aesthetic. Using too many different kinds of materials would result in a tacky decoration. The other reason was practical. For everyone, there would be enough materials to share. As you can see, I've brought some of the decorations my kids made to show you what the final results are. Martin chose to use only the markers, and only two colors at that, but created really nice geometric stripes on his holiday decoration. Lydia used three different types of material, the ribbon, buttons, and pieces of the black belt, to create decoration that looked very much like an animal. The last one I want to show you is really great and surprised me with its creativity using just different lengths of colored yarn. Judy made a very convincing holiday landscape on her decoration. You can easily make out the hills and trees of what looks like a rural area. Well, I hope this presentation was useful. Thank you for your time. Wow, that was great, Yuri. I think the other teachers will definitely learn something from this. That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute to check your answers.